What's up, Buttercups? It's me, Amy Young, and I'm coming at you with a Friday freestyle. Today, um, I'm going to be answering a viewer-requested email. This came from Isabella, um, who wrote asking, I would really enjoy a video that talked about adapting to new environments and situations such as a new job, new city, new university, etc. I feel that this topic would be universally applicable to people that are encountering many different new situations and changes in their lives. Thank you, Isabella, because then she went on to like say a lot of really, really nice things that I won't read on camera, but I appreciate it. I hope that you're watching. And I second this request. I think it's a great request because um, being somewhere new, <laughs> and like going through any kind of transition it's usually pretty uncomfortable and clunky and awkward and like uh, mini existential <laughs> like i'm in this new place who am i in this new place what do i do in this new place i don't know things here um yeah humans in general like we don't really like change all that much sometimes i talk to people and they're like well i like change and i'm like no you fucking don't like come on really um, I'm sure some people do. Some people in the comments will probably be like, I love change. Um, I'm not coming at you to fight. I'm just saying the majority of people I know struggle through those kinds of transitions. Um, and how can we make it easier for ourselves? I think the answer looks a little bit different for everybody, but I'll speak from my experience and <clears throat> my experience coaching others through transitions and, and new phases of life. Um, Let's think about like what we're facing when we're in a new environment, right? So usually what's really present there is a lot of instability, some nerves, um, probably a little bit of like anxiety about like getting settled, wanting to just like feel at home already. Um, it feels really uncomfortable. It feels like, you know, you just, yeah, you want to feel like grounded and, and calm and at home and um, I learned at a certain point in time that if I know what I need to feel those things right to feel like calm grounded centered what helps connect me to me then I can really go anywhere in the world or be in any kind of new situation and I'll know how to feel at home with myself um, and to feel comfortable there. So there's a few ways to really do that. I think it really starts with getting really curious and actively interested about what helps connect you to you. What puts you in that state of mind where you feel a little bit more grounded, a little more, a bit more at peace, a little bit more like, ah, oh, yes, I can relax here a little bit. And when you're going through a transition like this is the other thing that happens is like we move to a new city or we're in a new environment and and aside from just changing the location what else happens all of our fucking structure that we had set up in our old place goes out the friggin window and suddenly it's like we wake up and we're like okay i just have to unpack and then i have to figure out okay like what am i gonna do and like how am i gonna get to work and like i need to figure out the bus schedule and i should call that person find out <sighs> slow it down a little bit let's create some heart centering structure for ourselves you know when i moved back to boston from new york the first thing i did the first two things i did was one i um found a kickboxing studio because i was doing that all the time in new york and i knew that if i could just pick that up in Boston, it would help give me like a, a place to go to. It would, exercise is a great release for me. It's something that like does make me feel really, really good inside. So before I even left New York, I called the kickboxing place and was like, hi, I wanna start my membership on this date. I'm gonna be there. What's the class schedule? Do it. And like I set it up that I was like, okay, I'm arriving back in Boston on a Saturday. I'm going to kickboxing on Monday morning because I know that that'll just help me feel kind of like, hmm, this is normal again. The second thing I did was I went to Trader Joe's and I picked up all of like <laughs> the familiar goodies that I know that I needed, um, especially like to make myself a good breakfast in the morning because breakfast is such like a sacred grounding activity for me. Breakfast is like, don't mess with breakfast. These are things that I knew for myself 
helped give me a sense of calm and, and centeredness so that whatever the hell else happened for the day, whatever else was on the agenda, whatever else I had to do, I knew, okay, I'm gonna like get my exercise, I'm gonna have like a good, calm, chill breakfast time, um, I'm gonna have my writing practice in the morning, I'm gonna find a really great yoga studio, like those were my priorities. So if you're facing a transition or you're preparing to be in a new environment or you're in one right now, I think it's so necessary and helpful to get really, really clear with yourself, like what are the activities and things that I can do that give me a sense of st stability and structure? How do I create that for myself? Most of us really suck at creating structure and stability for ourselves because we're relying on outside forces to do it. And I blame everything. I blame like society, I blame, blame <laughs> like education, the education system, I blame. It's like, we feel like we need these external forces. Like I need a boss to tell me this is when you have to come to work. I need like school to tell me like this is what you need to focus on and this is when you need to be at class. And what I'm saying is take that role on to yourself and be like, okay, if I am the boss um, or the manager of like my inner peace right now, what needs to be on the schedule for today? What needs to be prioritized? And make that priority number one, because if you make that priority number one, then the transition's gonna be a lot easier. You're gonna feel a lot calmer, and it's not gonna, you're just gonna not be like pulled in all these directions and feel stressed. Like, it doesn't do any good. And I remember actually like talking to people um, in the kickboxing studio and they were like wow so like when did you just you know move to Boston I was like oh I got here like on Saturday and they were like you're already here and I was like yeah because if I don't come here and I don't do this I don't feel good I don't feel right I know that about myself you know things about yourself too you might not necessarily be that tuned into them or honoring them every single day but you know things about yourself like you know what makes you feel good what makes you feel calm maybe it's a fucking bubble bath maybe the first thing you need to do when you get into your new apartment is like go out to bed bath and beyond and buy some bath salts and some candles and put on some michael buble slow jams and have a bubble bath like make that fucking priority number one um so that is i have so much more to say on this topic but i'm going to stop there that's my number one recommendation. Know what connects you back with you. Know what centers you, calms you, grounds you. Because if you know that stuff, um, location will never be an issue. And have like a grab bag of things. I have like, you know, seven to 10 activities and tasks that I can engage in that help center me to me, uh, uh, center me with me. So that any day of the week, um, if I'm stressed, if I'm confused, or if I'm traveling and I'm going somewhere, I have stuff. That's why I have a gratitude practice. That's why I have a meditation practice. That's why I, I journal. That's why I do creative free writing. That's why I find great coffee shops everywhere I go. Because I know that these things help me feel good. And when you know it helps you feel good, you can feel good anywhere. Done. Freestyle. Hashtag Friday Freestyle complete. Isabella, I hope that this was helpful to you. Um, maybe I should talk more about this. I don't know, I'm gonna think about it, but I hope that you are having a great day, night, weekend, wherever you are, and I will see you next Friday. Okay, much love. Um, if you like this, please subscribe. If you want to connect more with me, you can head to amyoncoaching.com. The link is in the subscription box and enter your email to be on my email list. I would love to connect with you there. And until next time, bye. I'll see ya. Intuition is usually like a really quiet, persistent whisper that either says like, you need a break or something's not right or hey, have you thought about this? Or hey, have you noticed this? It's really, really quiet.